And uh, Vadim, do you want to show us a couple of the things that you've been working on this week? And we'll just dive in. Yeah, sure. Let me show. Can you please allow me to share my screen? You bet. Sorry about that. Okay, on my side, uh, <clears throat> can you see this, the screen? Yes, sir. Okay, on my side, I was working on workflows, uh, automations, triggers. And so here we have uh, some, uh, a couple, I mean, um, some workflows I can share with you. The one is uh, if the visitor saved the property, so let's check this one. So when user, the visitor on your IDX pages and they save the property, uh, the save property count is gonna be triggered. Here you can see, you can see we're using custom field, save properties count. And if it's changing, we it's just a, a simple workflow. If it's changing, we notify an assigned agent here and send the email with the template. Template is gonna contain the mail out. They're gonna uh they're gonna um we're going to send the, that template from IDX add-ons to the custom field. So you're gonna receive the template with HTML code. Um, let me check if I have an example. Yeah, that'd be cool. And so while Vadim's looking for that, I'll just make a comment. He's been working on these, um, this week. And we're going to build out a handful of these that will be available as a snapshot. So in the link below in this video, we're going to put some links to these, uh, to where you can contact us and uh, let us know if you use our integration with IDX add-ons, the, the, that snapshot will be free for you. So. Well, I'm sorry, I just have this one. It has the same properties, but it might be different properties here. So, but in my in my case, I was just testing it. It's, it's uh, different properties, but uh, the template is like this. Okay. So it just shows, uh, sends an email out to the real estate agent showing which properties they were saving. Is that what you're saying, buddy? Yes, okay. or viewing. Okay, next one. Okay, I just showed you if the visitor saves the property. The next one is um, if they have like uh, three saved properties. So if the visitor saves the property three times, right? So the uh, the the count save properties count. Got uh, every time they save the property, this uh custom field gonna be triggered and once it gets three right uh the custom field save properties count if it's greater than or equal to three so uh we can proceed with the email we can notify an assign agent as well with a template and you can see the agent can see those uh, properties in an email. Very cool. Yeah. And... Oh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, next one. If they view the same property three times. And also, I want to mention that you can change it how many times they viewed. The, pro the same property, for example, in this case, it's just three, you can change it to 10. 
So here in uh, the same logic implemented here, if the same property count trigger has changed. So we proceed with that workflow and here's the case also the same way. So what you're saying is that they can change that to any number they want it to be then by the real easily right there. Yes, yes. Okay. So, and uh, not, not, it's uh, notifying the assigning agent as well here too. Looks good. Okay, let's take a look, take a look at, the, at the last one. Uh, so here, if the visitor views three distinct properties, So uh, the same logic here, also same way you can change it here. Um, the, uh, for example, uh, um, for example, if the visitor views the property, it can be any property, it not just one property. If they use properties like three times, this trigger, this workflow is gonna be triggered and it's gonna it's gonna notify the agent, the assign agent. <clears throat> but I think more logical here, like for agents, maybe use like 10. I mean, you if, if like what do you think if the visitor is interested in the properties that presented, right? Yeah. Uh maybe it's reasonable to set it like to 10 not to three, because like if it's three, you're gonna trigger like every time. So, so Vadim, if I can just ask you, so what you're saying is you have three different triggers there. One of them does anytime they view three properties, different properties, or anytime they view the same exact property three different times, or the other one is if they have three saved properties, that, that's kind of, those were the ones with the different property types, right? Yes, uh, I have uh, the count for save properties, view properties, and also we set the workflow. And we say, I mean, we said like a condition if there are like three save properties, right? Okay. I think that's awesome. Cool. Thank you. Hey, thank you. I think we're excited to see more of those in the future. That'll be fantastic. Um, let's see who's next. Maida, are you comfortable going next? Sure. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Maida's <laughs> like, what do you mean by the word comfortable? Yes, I <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you. This is going to be for IDX add-ons, and this is for IDX broker. I'm going to show you a live demo of the one-click uh, websites that we are building for high level. And this is just a reminder that we have two templates, the Astro one and Cancun. So I'm going to do the live demo. Uh, this is on my local environment. So in case you see something that you think that you can steal, like my payment method, it's not going to work. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, I was going to steal <laughs> credit card information there, Maida, but I guess that's not going to work. So we'll yeah. do so. So I'm here in the IDX Aaron's apps, and you will find the link connector one-click websites. You need to click here. And I'm going to do this. Um, example using the Astra template, you are going to need to click on this button and process the payment. So this is going to be uh, demo data. So you see how it's going to look. We are using Stripe for the payments. And I think everybody can see your credit card information right there. Yes, Mike. okay. You can use it if you want. Okay, thank you. <laughs> So after paying, um, you're going to be redirected to a page like this one. 
saying that your payment was successful. And here are going to be uh, some instructions. Uh, we are going. We are also going to send this is this is instructions uh, to your email to the one submitted uh, in the Stripe uh, form or the payment form. But what we need from you is uh, lead connector access. You need to create a new admin user with our email so we can clone the template uh, also to create the wrapper. Uh, to do this, you can follow a tutorial that we have put a, a link here. Uh, and we need uh, a primary city or county, a second, two secondary cities or counties, ITX broker access, this is your email and password, so we can check that everything is working correctly on the IDX side. And so, and so we can set up uh, IDX templates for the results, details, uh, maps, search uh, templates. A logo in case you want to update it. If not, we're going to use the one in your high-level sub-account. Contact information, uh, email, phone number, this is uh, going to be added to the foot footer of your website and any image you would like to add. So I'm going to go to the multi-step form. Um, well, this is the beginning of the form. So I'm going to click on start now. This is the design that I selected is the Astra template. Uh, what would you like to call your website? This is uh, data or information. We are getting it from the IDX Broker API. And the next thing is, uh, these are all the apps that we are going to add to your website or to your custom values. There's going to be an Opni search widget that is a search, search tool, a Google Map widget, testimonials, Plunk Home Valuation, AI communities, this is only available to IDX Broker Platinum accounts. Uh, if you have a light account, it, it's only going to create a saved link. A data graph widget, popular listings, and community areas. Then I'm going to click on next. Here you have to enter your high level subaccount API key and click on next. Um, this is going to take a couple of, well, at least one minute. We are uh, getting your high level forms and this is also going to be used so we can send all the data to high level and it's going to create custom values. So I have a question real quick, Maida. Um You mentioned there the chat. So does this integrate with the, with the high level chat? Also, is that what you're saying? Yes, we're also adding a way to display your high-level chat, but you can add it uh, in the high-level website builder if you want. Okay. Uh, well, now it's going to display your high-level forms. I'm going to select one of them. This is going to be displayed on the homepage of the template. And here you are going to be able to select a property type in case you only want to show one of them instead of all. For this example, I'm going to choose commercial sale. And here you can choose this primary community. For now we have cities and counties uh, and by default it's going to display like the most, um, the nearest city to your, to well, the nearest city to the place where you live. And I'm going to use these default uh, values for the primary, secondary, and the third city. And when you click on next, it's going to start creating these, it says pages, but it's, it's creating these AI communities in IDX Broker. And it's going to include some widgets and content generated by ChatGPT. This is going to take a couple of minutes, but here you will see this progress bar. So I have a question about that too, Maida. What did you select those cities, or did it does it suggest uh, cities for you, and you can change them? How does that work? Yes, it. I mean, it's going to display all the cities or counties available within your MLS. Okay. But it's um, 
by default it's providing some default cities. Um, yes. <laughs> well, another thing while it's doing that is um, we've had some discussion here at Realty Candy about this. I like to call them one-click websites, but we're seeing as you're clicking through here, it looks it looks more like about eighty-seven clicks, right? Is that yes. is that a little more accurate, maybe? So we're eventually we want to make these so they they really are more of a one-click, but that would be just using all the default values, I think, right? Yes. Okay. And this is step it's sending the data to a higher level, and. It's going to refresh the page. And, and so this whole process, this is something that's pretty easy for somebody that has some experience using high level, I would think, right? Yes, it's really easy and it's going to be really useful. I mean, here, well, here you're going to be able to be your, your Stripe receipt. And here you have your template link. With this uh, link, you are going to be able to clone the website in your high level sub account. And these are the custom values that it created. I'm going to go here to high level. Here I don't have any custom values related to the website, but if I refresh the page, I'm going to be able to see all these custom values and the cities that I selected, Hollywood, Aventura, and Fort Lauderdale, and all the widgets. And here uh, in the website, I don't have any yet, but I'm going to, well, let's wait so you can see that there is nothing. I'm going to clone the website. So I'm going to open this in a new tab. I have admin access. So that's why I'm able to clone this website. So I'm going to click here on add website. And here I can select in what uh, location I want to clone it. In this case, I'm going to use my demo account and I'm going to click here on clone website. Mm -hmm. And it's going to redirect me here. You can see uh, here this spinning icon. And it's going to take like, it takes seconds, but sometimes it gets kind of stuck. So I can refresh the page. And I appreciate you mentioning that, Maida, because when I've done that, it never stops spinning. I've never seen it stop spinning. That's kind of a bug in high level. So we just have to, like you say, just reload the page or go look at something else and come back, right? Yes. Because for now, this template uh, includes three pages. Okay. So here I'm going to click on the website and I'm going to preview it. And here I have um, the website with, uh, it's displaying these custom values. For example, this is the widget and it's only showing like this commercial for sale properties. Uh, here are the communities. Here it should be displaying a map widget. And these are also the data graph widget that was generated for, from the main or primary community, testimonials widget, plunk home valuation, the high level form that you selected, and this is the footer. And do those links in the footer, do we have to hook those up later or how does that work? I mean, right now it, it's, um, I'm going to open, for example, this page. Mm -hmm. And it's going to re redirect to the IDX broker pages, but there, there's one step missing that it's the IDX connect uh, integration. I will show something in a couple of minutes, but I want to show you that uh, these AI communities uh, were generated. For example, this Aventura one is going to add these widgets uh, to your community pages and it's going to add some content. So it's very easy and it's very quick. You don't have like to, you can spin up a website in minutes as you can see. And the part that I'm saying that is missing is the IDX Connect. 
we need to make uh, your website match with the IDX pages. And for that, we need to um, like add the, the dynamic wrapper to the IDX broker pages. So this IDX Connect is included in the one-click website integration. Uh, we're going also to set up uh, the Omni search. I mean, we're going to change the style to match your website, uh, the header and footer, uh, optimize all the IDX broker settings, apply the premium IDX page templates. That's why we need your IDX broker access. The SEO links app, plan home valuation. We are also going to set up uh, the agent uh, or office information widget. This is displayed on your details pages. Also the IDX styles app, so it matches uh, the colors of your website and the Google map widget. Mm -hmm. But that was that's what you need to know about this one click website. Okay, thank you. So let me just see if I understand what you're saying, Maida, is this is gonna, you're gonna push these buttons, it's gonna build this whole website for us. And once that's done, somebody on the Realty Candy team is still gonna need to manually go in and uh, and and do some settings to, to really get everything polished off at the end. Is that is that what you're saying? So there's some manual work there at the end. Yes, we need to add the wrapper. That's really important. Okay, that's awesome. So it's kind of like if we buy a new car, they can just give us the keys to the car and we could drive away, but they want to run it into there and have somebody detail it and clean it up really good before we drive it off, right? Yes. Okay, <laughs> good. Thank you. Thank you for showing that. Mm -hmm. Carlos, do you want to show us what you've got? Yes, thank you. Well, I'm going to show you uh, the updates on the OneClip website for iPhone finally. Uh, the idea is to have a website in minutes. So let me show you how this is working. If you go to IDX apps, you will find the lead connector OneClip website. You can uh, see a preview, buy the template, and you can start with the setup. So I'm going to I'm going to show you how I'm going to create a, a website uh, from zero. So I'm going to start. Uh, I'm I'm going to select a name. I will select uh, the apps that I want. I want the testimonials and I want the plan valuation on my on my website. In this step, uh, I need to. A set up a phone number. I'm going to use a one. And here I need to connect with high level. So let's click on connect and select my account that I'm going to use for testing. <clears throat> In this step, I need to select a contact form for the website. I have created one. Next. And this is something new. Um, In order for the template to be customized, a uh, we are asking you for a hero image. And that is a large banner image at the top of your website. That is the first impression with when someone visits your website. So I'm here, I have prepared one. So let me drag and drop and I can see the preview of the image. I, we suggest to, to use a large image and a good quality one. And I'm going to click on next. And then I need to select a primary uh, city that is going to be this one, and then two secondary cities. So let's select this two. Click on next, and it will start creating the custom values. So quick question, Carlos, what's the difference between what you're showing us and what Maida just showed us? They look like they're the same thing to me. Yeah, they are the same uh, product. Create create websites in minutes, but this is for iPhone finder. For iPhone. okay, and the one Mida did is for for iDX broker. Okay, so this is the iHome Finder version of the same thing. Yes, exactly. Okay, and we want to make them a, a alike so we don't get confused. And okay. these are the custom values necessary for the website. This is the template link that. Just as, as Mayra showed before, uh, an administrator needs to clone it 
copy uh, the website and paste it in a sub account. I have the sub account here. And as you can see, I have all the custom values here. And I, ha I, I have copied the website before. I have set up the, the domain. And this is the, the domain. This is the website. So let me show you how it looks. If I go to california.ghlidx.com, I have the hero image that I have selected. I have my name. I have also my communities. These are default images that I can change later. I have the long home valuation, and this is something important. The latest listings are from the primary, primary city that we have selected before. We have also the testimonials uh, with three default testimonials uh, with your name. That is the account of your name and a contact as well. So this is a high level and I can find their website uh, built in minutes. So we think this is very powerful and this is the, the example that we wanted to show. You. Fantastic. So I have a quick question for you guys. Um, somebody asked me in one of these meetings that I've done, they said, when are you gonna be finished uh, completely building out the way these one-click websites work? What, what would you answer to that? Maida, what would you say? Mm, I would say that never. Why but... never? <laughs> Because we are always adding new features and we are always trying to improve our product. That's the first thing that I would like to say. And the second thing is that we are always creating new apps that can be added to these one-click websites. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we have today is basically the 2023 version of it. And if somebody comes in a month, they're going to get kind of a new ver they're going to get the 2024 version of it is, is and if they go in six months they'll get the mid 2024 version right yes that's right okay hey vadim maida and carlos i really appreciate you guys joining me today it doesn't look like we have anybody in the q a today so i think we're done and uh i appreciate your time Thank you.